on the Montauk Star again, up Montauk. Hitting Block Island. Taking the trek over to the windmills. See if we can find some fluke. We got the regular pool, $25 a head, and we got the super pool today, $50 a head. So it's a lot of money on the line. Let's get some money. Let's catch some fish. Bring us in. caught a fish with this rod so I can't really tell you but it, it feels good. gagging these things today, dude. I don't give a shit. Keep them tight, baby. He's here. Looks upside down. What's going on here? No, it's snagged on the side. No. Keeper.
so. Dude, every time I pull it off the bottom, like give it a, a high pull, it, something bites. Yeah, it's a sea bass. Feels like a nice sea bass. I'll catch a keeper sea bass. Dude, it takes me forever to get down and it's already here. Be up here 17. Sixteen and a half. No, no, no. I don't. He is. It's pretty long. How big they got? How big they got to be? It's right here. I just don't know how big they gotta be. 17? I don't think zero is right here. And a half they gotta be. Zero is right here, isn't it? Zero. Isn't it the start of that one? Right here, zero. Where's the one? Okay, so it's one. Right, yeah, right. They gotta be 16 and a half? Yeah. These right there. Might be, let's see. I'll keep them bitches. Yeah. Well, no. If you, yeah. If it's if it's a keeper, I'll keep it. I need the right bite. Not the right one. Yeah, I like this rod. You just got to get a power handle on this, and this is the money. Dude, you still talk to this guy? Tell them you want this exact same rod. It's He's a little slow. Damn it. Yeah, this is a nice rod. I feel like it. It's not really fighting like it. Huh? It wasn't really fighting like a flounder. It's heavy, whatever it is. It's heavy, whatever it is. It looks like a flounder. You like, got it, got it. Got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Fuck you. I felt that weight come off. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> it's right there. I got it, I got it, right? I can't swing it out, but you got the it, the bucktails in backwards. You got it in the upside down. Yeah. Yeah. Big ass sea bass. Can you get get that? Use that thing. I don't want to lose it. Big ass sea bass. That's the biggest sea bass I ever caught in my life. Seriously? I swear. What? No. Yeah. I'm telling you. Here, just here. While you're here, let's take a picture of me with this fucking big bitch. I got you. Yeah, I like that too. Yes. No, I don't. Got him. Yeah. He makes it look small, doesn't he? All right. Two pounder. Go keep. Oh boy. I don't know about this net guy. <laughs> you need the flip burgers. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I see it, John. Doesn't look like two grand. No, it doesn't. Swam right in there. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. You should have told me this earlier, Mark. I've never been on the bow of this. I don't do this type of fishing, really. That's the whole advantage of the bow. Just yeah. keep working, make your own drift. The it was the tide, is it turning, or what do you think? You think with the moon, we'd be fucking... So about midway through the trip, uh, Captain came down, and uh, yeah, you know, he's a great plan. guy, and you know, I've been on this boat a couple times, so we have good conversations, and he said, uh, you know, make your own drift, cast up, you know, cast off drift, and, and work, work the jig back to you, so uh, I went to uh, like a two ounce jig, and I was casting it up current, and that's where... I've had, anytime I'm using this blue rod, fan, that's what I was doing. So, um, just casting it out and uh, bouncing it back. No. Uh, had that, that nice keeper, well, probably my best sea bass I ever caught. Um, and, uh, you know, a handful of sea bass, um, this flounder, it did work. I, I don't typically fish on head boats. So, this is a, a new style of fishing for me. So, it was just... Uh, it, it was it was nice to be informed by the captain for that so for future reference uh, it will be something that I uh, do uh, deploy if I ever end up on the, the bow again what 
the stuff. Black over there! Dude, look at the size of that fish. Oh, that might not be there. I guess I'll take out the bottom right there. There's somebody on the other side? Yeah, just back off. Dude, that's the biggest fun I've ever seen in my life. Dude, that is a friggin' monster, dude. Yeah, that's a doormat. Yes, it is. <laughs> Oh my god. That's him, baby. Way bigger than that, he smashed it. How many people do you guys got from the area? Five. Including this one? Six. Two. Are you sure? Yeah. You got two keepers? I got one. I got two. The three. Five. Six. What? One more. That's a good fish, Yo, he. Dude, that was. You have two? I don't know. Yo, I, dude, that thing freaking smashed me. I hope it's all on video too. Still a nice fish, four pounder. Oh, yeah. Take that all day. Yeah. You better tell John that uh, man just lost his rod. No, no, no. Man, he was just barely up too. Not really, but I got him right in the jaw. Everybody talks about eating the meat, dude. Fishing the meat. That's how you want them all to bite.
I don't know if that'll work. heavy. Looks long. Long, strong, bound to get the friction on. Well, we're going to be wrapping up this trip. Uh, great time. We still caught uh, plenty of fish. Um, as always, you would like to catch more, but um, the conditions just, uh, you know, weren't, you know, weren't working out for us. We uh, seem to have wind against the tide, no drift, uh, very slow. So uh, we picked away. We didn't get that big money fish on this trip, but as always, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Catches on the next one. Can't wait.